Facing the fall. As more area kids get ready to head back to school on Tuesday, the push for more safety measures continues. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom is in St. Jones County, where some parents have started a petition calling for school masks. But we begin with Marilyn Parker, who's live at the Gateway vaccination site. Marilyn, did a lot of parents bring their kids out today to get vaccinated? No, not many of the parents did today, Janice. I'm told yesterday was the big day for them to bring them out. And you can see right now they've wrapped up, taken down the tent, and they're clearing out these buses. But it's not the only chance you're going to have to get your kids vaccinated. On August 18th, Duval County Schools is set to open a vaccine clinic in each of its secondary schools. They'll give the Pfizer vaccine to students and staff. We're told the goal is to have every person eligible for the shot vaccinated in the first quarter. Students in Duval, as you know, head back to school this Tuesday. They are required to wear masks unless their parents app them out of that requirement. Employees are required to wear masks at the schools until Friday, September 3rd. The district plans to update its COVID-19 dashboard daily. They're going to be emphasizing hand washing and sanitizer, temporary, uh, excuse me, temperature checks for elementary school students only and day cleaning. Now, even if your child has that vaccine shot, it's going to be a few weeks, doctors say, until they are fully protected. I just finished speaking with Dr. Mohamed Reza. He's an infectious disease expert. You can hear what he has to say to parents preparing your kids to go to school this week. He has a couple reminders of extra ways that they can stay safe for those kids, especially who cannot get the vaccine. We're live in Gateway today. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.